What's up YouTube, Brass Michael RC here. And I've already done one review of a coil system. Uh, so I figured, and it was like the cheapest, one of the cheapest coil systems that you could get on Amazon. So I decided to go on there and find a pin kit. Um, so I could do a review on it and kind of compare the two and kind of see what I like. I've been using a coil system for a while. Uh, but the only problem with the coil systems, and um, I'll put a link to that in my description. The problem with that machine now, it was a really good review and I really liked it. And I did, uh, oh, I did a lot of tattooing on myself with that coil system. Did its job, but the coils went out very quickly on one of them. And I don't know, there's just... I want, I've been wanting to try one of these, and I'll show you guys why here in a second. The coil system, you have to use, you have to, the way that you set it up, you have to put the, the end on it, put the needle through, the rubber bands, like all this different stuff in order to set it up. So I wanted something faster and cleaner uh, that I could just set up super quick, do it, and not have to mess with a whole lot of things. Like on the coil system, you have to buy the tip, the tips, and the needles. So, um, and they have a certain way of doing it to where the tips need to be, I can't remember, I haven't tattooed in a while, I think the tips have to be one size smaller, so you never, I never could find needles and tips together where I got the same amount of tips as I had needles, so I've always had extra of either needles, certain needles, or extra of certain tips, so I just, I always hated that, and I love how these systems come with a tip that goes in and it's got a tip and a needle together in it and so you never have one too many of anything and you can just buy more tips I really like that so I figured I'd try this out this is called the wormhole I'll leave a link to this in the, the description very cheap I think like $36 or something like that um, you guys can check it out I'll leave it in the description so you guys can see or here we'll just put it up here that way you guys can see how much it actually is so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing show you everything that's in this kit and then we'll do <clears throat> a review to it I'll do some uh, this comes with skins so I'll do do a, a few things on the skins and stuff and then kind of give you my overall review of it and then I'll probably try it on myself so that this will either be com there will probably be two or three videos on this just so you can get all the information you can and not have to sit through like a 20 minute video and I'll just leave the links in the description of this to the other videos when I get to those so how about that let's just do it that way so let's check this out see what all this comes with so right off the bat vitamin D ointment aftercare stuff treatment I've never seen that in a kit before that's pretty cool oh uh, let's see see what all this comes with but uh and I also want to see if this is compatible with my other foot pedal so let's see what some of this stuff is when you do a review like this you got to do everything one-handed <laughs> so I don't know what each of these boxes have in it so once I get to the gun I'll probably just set that aside or I call it a gun the uh, actual tattoo machine I'll just set that aside. But this first one looks like it is the power supply. It comes with a basic power supply. Plugs in two prong. Um, smaller power supply than my other one. It's like you just plus it up. Minus it. So, that's cool. Now, the one thing is they do make these pin ones with battery packs. So, they're wireless. Yeah, and I don't really like that because they only have a certain amount of settings on them. And you can't really fine tune the settings. So that's why I didn't get one of those. I want it to plug into a power source and actually be able to up and down the power source on it myself. So it's got some instructions to the power source. So set that aside. Set that box aside. There's the pedal. This is a, another big thing. Is um, I'll show you guys a picture right up here of what some other pedals look like. And I wanted to make sure that I've got an actual decent pedal. I don't want one of those. I don't want one of those that are just a button that you push down. So 
it's basically the same concept because underneath here it's just a button it's one push and it goes uh, depending on what your power setting is at but i just like the feel of an actual pedal rather than stepping on a button so that's why that was a very specific reason why i bought this machine over some of the other cheaper ones well that, i don't know if any of them the other ones were cheaper per se but that's why i bought this one instead of the other cheap ones so they keep all the books together so let's keep that over here set that box aside it's like this says your cartridges and this was a huge so there's two big reasons why i got this set here that's the pedal and the ink that comes with it is big things of ink so a lot of these uh, kits like this come with really small, they're about this size. Let me get one. They're this size here. And which, they usually give you a way more colors, like hundreds of colors. Like this tattoo kit came with a bunch of colors. Like 120 different colors. But when they're this big, this is about the size of a cup that I usually get of black. You know what I mean? So, um, not for a big tattoo, you know, small tattoos and tra and just practicing, but you really have to go out and buy your own ink. And if you really like a certain color, it's hard to find. So that's a huge reason why I got this here because it had big things of ink. Like you got your black, white, blue, red, all your basic colors. And it's got purple. Purple's awesome. Yellow, green, orange. So that's a huge reason why I bought this set. Pedal and ink. Comes with some cups. I've got a hundred and thousand of those. So. Uh, a little bit of roll of this tape, sports tape type stuff. Uh, a set of gloves, which, you know, one time practice and you'll, you'll stop. You'll need more. So this, I think this is the gun itself. So let me get the rest of this out. Uh, not 100% sure what that is. It looks like it's the plastic wrapping that you would wrap around the actual machine itself to keep it sterile. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Then you have, should be two skins in here. I thought it was two skins. It looks like one skin, actually. That's all right. I don't need multiple ones. And then you've got a bunch of transfer paper, which I already have tons of transfer paper, but it's always cool to try different ones. Mine are like twice this size, but who knows, you know, there might be some better brands. Mine aren't really all that great. They're, it was just a cheap stack of transfer paper. And it really all kind of depends on the stuff that you use with the transfer paper to transfer it onto your skin. So got the manual all set to the side. We'll get this box out of the way. And drop that. <laughs> all right, let me get this plastic off because I don't think I can do this with one hand. Oh, can I? I might be able to, folks. I might have some skill in me. Some skill, son. I honestly thought this would be bigger. This doesn't seem like it's going to be that big. Looks like this just slides. Like so. My dog's out there whining. You're probably hearing him smacking against the door because he wants to come in. Then, dump those out. Looks like we got some O rings here. And we got two. That's my oven going off. We got two. Oh. So that is the plug in. And this one is. That looks like the machine. So. And that's cool. That fits right in your hand, huh? And the other ones are all wonky. You have to set them up on top of your hand and, and really kind of hold them 
all awkward. This one's like a pin. Like you can literally. That is cool. And it's heavy duty. It feels real good in your hand. Let's get one of these cartridges out. Here. One liner. So that's the cartridge and then it pushes in <clears throat> it makes it move so it's so much simpler because you don't have to mess with anything do any rubber bands anything like that so that's awesome so it looks like this side I was probably holding it upside down I think this side is for that to go in yep just like that right on the back and that means oh that'll help me stand it up that means that oh so literally all you do is push this in hard and twist it and then it's it's on there tight so this is an r5 means it's around should be five needles in a round orientation so it would be five like that good for lines I like using a five to seven making fat lines man look at that it just makes it to where it's right there that's gonna be so much more comfortable Let's plug this in and see what it sounds like going. Before I plug it in, I will say that it's got a line setting and a shade setting to plug these into. So different power settings for it. That's pretty cool. Oh, duh. That's your button. Your little pedal. That's what that is. So your gun plugs into one of these, whatever you're doing. Since it's around five, it'll be a line. And then my pedal there. So... All right, I'll get it hooked up. All right, so I got it plugged in, and if you want it to go up, you push the plus. If you want it to go down, you push that. So we'll just do 6.0, just just to get and see what it's like. Oh, my pedal flipped over. Okay, so first of all, and I did see this in the reviews, people were having trouble saying that it doesn't work. So there's a button here that says line and shade. So you gotta pick which one it's in. And right off the bat, it's not on one. So I tried plugging it into both and hitting the pedal and it didn't work. So I ended up hitting that, setting it online, and now put it up to nine. Look at that. Oh, this thing's quiet too compared to my coil ones. That is Super quiet. Look at that. I mean, I'll have to set the uh, set the needle kind of where I want it. But and that's really good. That feels good in your hand. It doesn't vibrate too much. That is amazing. It feels heavy and good. Like you can hear my foot pedal over this. That is awesome. I wish I had a decibel thing because I know my phone's probably going to pick it up. Like it's worse than it is, but it's really good. Let me uh, let me do a few lines on this on this spare skin here, and then we'll we'll kind of end this video. And then I'll actually. 
I'll use some transfer paper and transfer a design on here after that and do a do a whole practice thing, show you an actual practice, and then we'll put a tattoo on myself. How about we do that? All right, one second. So I will say this, it is a fairly cheap skin. In fact, you can see through it. So make sure that you have something underneath it. I had a uh, red shirt, but it's actually a pretty good shirt. I don't feel like staining it. So I put a little box under here. And I'm not going to be able to really do this one-handedly. So when I do my actual review and put a design on here, um, I'm going to have to use my actual computer camera and point it down. So this is just going to be real fast. So we're just loading it up. We got some tattoo ink in there. So I'm going to have to just like kind of, I don't know how I'm going to hold this honestly. Because I think it's probably going to move around. But we'll just see if we can get a line going. what happens when you can't study yourself. Anyways, that is uh, the wormhole tattoo pin. I love this thing so much more. Like no awkward holding like the coil. It did get a little warm. Feels super warm. Well, not super warm, but warm. I just imagine how much warmer it's gonna get. So when I actually do the review, we'll we'll take some time. We'll do a uh, transfer onto a skin, something that's gonna take you know some time to do and do some wiping and things like that like actually doing a tattoo basically and kind of see what went through but anyways my name is Bryce Michael RC hopefully you guys enjoyed this review go check it out I don't, I'm not sponsored by it or anything so uh, just check it out and come back for my other videos on it see ya so before I go, that is everything that it comes with right there. Cups, sanitation plastic, power, pin, cords, pedal, inks, gloves, tape. And I like to put this on stuff so your fingers don't slip. So, Oh, and then cartridges. Lots of cartridges. So I'm going to go through here and start picking out what I want and designing something and we'll get those videos made.